Hello and welcome to a new video about augmented reality. This here is one augmented reality device. This is the Microsoft HoloLens 2. Currently, now we have March 10th, 2021. State of the art. Okay. This is how it looks like if we are wearing it. Okay. Well. looks a little bit big yeah but you know the challenges are uh, the challenges are that we do have quite something to calculate uh. this little device here is a computer where on my head i have two displays in front of my eyes uh. i have sensors which can locate myself into into the room in the room uh. so there's not only gps there are more yeah uh. simply because you know, all those mixtures, that's a pretty hard task to really identify where you are because all of the sensors, gyroscopes, GPS and whatever position sensory and so on, which is used, uh, they all cheat a little bit, they all make a little bit mistakes and so on. And to really calculate where you are, this is one big task of such devices. Well, I'm currently filming also with the whole lens as well, so I will, you will probably see after I do show the, <laughs> the, 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 the footage. Yeah? And now I want to just show you how it looks like, yeah? how it may look like. And over here, I have placed the window. Yeah? Currently, we are installing software. Yeah? I can take this window and place it book, somewhere else. Now between you and me, between the camera and me, there is this window. Okay. And here we already see another difficulty uh, of, of virtual reality. Because if I put my hand between the window, the display window, and my and my point of view, my eye, I can still see what is written on. Yeah? So my hand looks a little bit. It doesn't really look perfect. Yeah, this is because the hand does not cover the virtual parts. Yeah? If I put it behind, okay, yeah? it looks pretty nice. I hope this is this is. Ooh, now it's really close this window. Huh? And you see, it already it, it, it looks a little bit strange. This 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 gestures and so on. I can open a start menu, how it is usual in Windows. Yeah. I can close the start menu as well. Yeah. You see here I do have a start button, right? <laughs> I can simply I can simply uh, select something here by tapping, yeah can put this window somewhere and so on. Yeah? I can also close it again. This is how this looks like. Yeah? And you know, you have seen, I can place my, my hand in front of the window yeah? and even the window is shining through. I do have this issue. I do have this issue also in, in in real imagine i want to display something yeah i want to display the building yeah and it should look real for me and then another building was built to the right of it yeah and then i have to i don't have to display a whole building and so on so this this 3d data there is a tremendous amount of three-dimensional data necessary simply to to make this right, this is also not that easy. It will. You probably have already used navigation systems, and there are always, always uh, things which do. I don't know. Doesn't really fit. Huh? So there is, there's change. 
there's simply change. And this, to keep this on track, it's, it's nearly impossible. Huh? So this is also a difficulty. You see, this is currently state of the art. Huh? So this is, this is what it currently takes, huh? computer. All the difficulty is, you know, all the sensors, they are working pretty well right now. Yeah, what I told, yeah. But to make this work in a smaller scale, so maybe something like this, yeah, we will work a while. Yeah? Because this is not really suitable for walking around with it. Yeah? However, once we have really accomplished that we can make it as small as a normal spectacle, yeah? Then you have seen I can operate windows. Huh? I can operate windows just with my hands. Yeah? Then we don't need screens. Huh? We don't need, I don't know, I can wear my phone and the display of my phone, it's displayed simply somewhere in front of me. I call somebody and I have a built-in Bluetooth headset and we realize, yeah? This will change probably the way we operate things pretty much as soon as this is getting smaller. Right now we also have difficulties with the with the batteries and so on. Longer than several hours is not simply is simply currently not possible. Huh? It will get better over time. Huh? So once this is established, and I'm pretty sure this will be established, yeah, then we will have virtual uh, shops, yeah, virtual windows and so on, where we can wear something, yeah, virtual mirrors, yeah, so, and probably, I, I told you, yeah, I have the phone somewhere, it's not really a phone, I just operate something, you know, in, by tapping around in the air, uh, maybe there will be also a whole new class of, of of machines, of devices, which we just cannot think of now. Yeah? Maybe virtual reality and augmented reality, they will also shrink together according to this, this mixed reality chart here. Yeah? Maybe we will meet somewhere in the middle. Yeah? This is future. Yeah? This is future and probably If the development is going as rapidly as the last 10 years, we are all going to live until this future arrives. Huh? Maybe we will see holodecks, yeah? maybe we will see X-ray vision yeah? for the operator yeah? or for the, for the surgeon. Huh? X-ray vision in, in, in walls, huh? you can see where the lines are power lines, water lines, and if I drill inside, I'm sure I hit it, <laughs> not just by accident. Yeah, this will be future. Yeah. Next, next videos we are going to talk about or use one of uh, these virtual reality platforms. Yeah how we create virtual reality or, or augmented reality. We will create augmented reality. Yeah? We will use our phone, like I've shown last time with the Google Translator. However, we will just, just, we'll display our own data. Yeah? We will display our own construction from SolidWorks. We'll display 3D CAD data with the help of a thing called Wuforia Studio. Uh, Euphoria Studio is from a company called BTC and this is the thing I'm going to, to use in the next videos and show you a little bit how this is working uh, as one example of uh, augmented or virtual reality composing, let's call it. Uh, we will get to know this, how this is working. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.